In this session, we're going to look at using numbers. So we're going to start a new project by mouse, right mouse clicking, then coming down and Python file. We'll give it a name, we'll just call it numbers, and we'll put some developer comments in. So what we're going to be looking at is two different types of numbers. One is integers, and the other one is floating decimal points. So numbers can either be integers, which are whole numbers, and they can either be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. going up, and also can be negative numbers, but they don't actually have any decimal points. Where floats or real numbers actually have decimal points. So we not only do we have the integer part of the number, but we also have the decimal part of the number. So they're the two different numbers that we deal with in Python, and they're the two main numbers that we deal with in programming. So integers and floats. So let's start by looking at integers. Now, first of all, we need to collect an integer from the user. So I'm gonna have a variable called number and we'll put 0, 1. Now remember when declaring variables, they can't actually start with a capital or a number and you can't have spaces. So number 01 and we're gonna ask for an input and then we're gonna ask enter number one. Now this will take in the information as a character because all input is treated as text. So we can actually turn this into an integer by saying int bracket the input of the user. So if we read it from right to left, we go get the number the user has inputted, convert it to an integer, and then store that in number one. So in our output, if we go print and then number one, it'll output the number we enter. So I'm just gonna right mouse click and go run at numbers and then enter in number one. So I'll put in there 13, press enter, and it outputs 13. If we're gonna concatenate the output, we can actually put some text in front of it, go number one is, and then have what the user enters. But you'll notice an error will occur when we run the program now. So once again, enter the number, I'll put 13, enter, and then we get a trace back. Now the error must be a stir. Because this is text, the number is actually an integer. We've got a data mismatch because we've got characters here or a string here, and then we have an integer. So what we need to do is convert the integer to a string. So by using this command, take number 01, which is an integer as defined by this, convert it to a string and add it to the existing string and print that on the screen. So let's run the program now. We'll enter in 13 and we get an output. So let's now put in a floating number for this integer. So we will put 13.5 or five as the input. You notice you get a trace back now saying that invalid literal for int, which means that it's the wrong data type. So if we're going to use decimals, we then have to use what's called a float. And I like to remember it as a floating decimal. So in other words, it's gonna have a decimal point somewhere. So when we run the program now, I'll put in 13.5, press enter, and you notice that it puts out 13.5. The good thing about floats are, we can also have 0 0.005, and the output contains the decimal points. Once again, you still have to turn the float into a string to add it to another string. So if I was gonna use currency and go enter in um, a dollar sign, and I would like a dollar sign to appear, but let's put one here like this. I can now go run, put in $13.50, press enter, and you see that it's got 13.5. Notice the zero's been cut off because once again, that's got to do with a, a, a numerical number where zero isn't represented. So it only shows out to the decimal points. We can round to two decimal points, but that'll be another tutorial some other time. So that's the difference between floats and integers. Now we can actually use mixed data types and we can come in and go number two is gonna be an int and input.
input number two, and then we can actually go answer is equal to number one plus number two. And then we'll output answer equals answer. So let's have a look at this. So enter number one, let's put in 15. Enter number two, 15, the answer should be 30. So we get 30.0. Let's run it again, and this time we'll put in a floating number, so 13.5, and then we'll add 2 to this, and we get 15.5. So we can use mixed data types, but you can't use a string. So if I take the input as a string, and then run the program, 12, and 12, once again, we'd get a data mismatch for those numbers. So you've got to make sure integers and floats can be added together, but a string is a different data type altogether. If they were both strings, we'll get a concatenation, which means it'll put the two together. So the first number is going to be one, Second number is going to be 1. 1 plus 1 gives me 11 because it adds the character 1 to the other character. So if your program requires the user to enter in decimals or the result's going to be in decimal, use a float. And float. And if you wanted to, then you could actually do multiplication if you'd like. So number 1 times number 2. So we could run the program and go... 2 times 2, and it gives you 4. Um, if you want division, we could always change that to division. And we could run the program again and go 9 divided by 3 should give us 3. So there's some basic mathematical operators and an example of how to use integer and float in your Python programming. If you found this tutorial useful, give it a like. Also have a look around my YouTube channel for other useful Python tutorials and subscribe to my channel.